Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create responsive reports. So I already have my uh, report developed here. Um, it's a dashboard with uh, four reports. There are, there are uh, four different sheets. So I have a portfolio summary, a cost summary, a work, uh, wait, work summary as well, and also uh, data uh, coming from the schedule. So I'm just going to pick one sheet because we have to do this one at a time. So this is a uh, landscape uh, layout. So it's better if we're seeing it on a uh, desktop or a widescreen. So if we want to see the report um, on our mobile, we can have a mobile layout. So we can choose if we want to see as a mobile layout or if we uh, want to see it as a desktop layout as well. We can see both. But if we want to see as a mobile layout, we have to change. We have to actually uh, like make the layout uh, with the same data, with the same uh, visualizations that we have here. So we want to go to the tab view and we're going to click on mobile layout. So here we have available all the visualizations that we have on our report. That includes everything from the images to like if we uh, include some tax box or images to improve our layouts. Uh, it will be there as well, even if there's no data there, you know. So here we have available, you can see at the sidebar as I go down, this is all the room that we have available to uh, uh, dispose our visualizations. So I'm just going to start, uh, you know, using our logo here so we don't lose that. We don't want to lose that. And we also want the title right so we know what what we're seeing what we're viewing so next thing we're gonna do i'm just gonna get the the filters right because the report was developed this way makes sense for uh we have the filters on top let's see it all as you can see uh, it all fits to this little square so i'm just gonna yeah that's enough uh, i can i cannot open here but it on uh when we are on uh, uh viewing mode on our phone we are able to filter okay so i'm gonna well we have to think about the you know the our the size of the, our fingers you know it has to be something easy to be picked so you, we all, always have to think about that you know uh, when we are using it right so we can have the filters and now we can use uh, all the other visualizations i'm just gonna pick uh to be on top our indicators so the under budget the attention one and over budget you can you can see that it already like fits to the room that we have so if you want to resize it it's fine it's just a matter of how we want it to show uh this I'm, i can have a little bit uh like this so it doesn't take too much room all right well we have we are not mobile screen so let's just put this way because it's not taking adjust the way we want well we don't want to uh put this over the filter because if i would do this uh it would be maybe it would be harder to click you know when we um uh, click with our finger and our bubble. So let's just put this way. Okay. So let's drag this here and let's make this bigger. I already know how many um, values and uh, uh, types of squares we'll see here. As we know, the squares get bigger or little depending on the, the value that is calculated here. So it's caused by a portfolio, right? So you also have to think uh, how big it is for us to click in here. As we know, uh, uh, this is also, it can work as filtered as well uh, on our mobile uh, layout. So let's put this that way. Here now we're gonna just, I wanna see the 
S curve right after. Let's see how it's better, like it has a better view so we can make it bigger or, or not. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see here, some, some numbers. So we're gonna have the estimated cost here. Well, let's have the baseline before. Baseline estimated and the variance. Now I'm gonna have the top, top 10 cost variance and at last, I'm just gonna have, well, make more sense if I have this on top, but we can adjust later, all right? So I'm not gonna use uh, the other visualizations because it's just something for layout, to improve the layout on the desktop layout. So now we can see our mobile layout, all right? It's done, I just click save. And if I click mobile layout, it will go to the, uh, uh, this layout again, and we have to do this uh, with all the report sheets. So see, if I click here, it's blank again, and I have to start all over again to uh, make this mobile layout, and that's how we have uh, more responsive uh, reports. So that's it. See you in the next video.